in this video we're going to look at um, deleting a WordPress installation and we're going to delete it on uh, a one-on-one -on -one install. Uh, this is actually quite common especially if you've been following one of my courses and you've actually installed a test uh, website and then you want to go on to the real thing. Uh, the very basic one-on-one uh, -on -one package only gives you one database so unless you're going to share that database with multiple installs which uh, you can uh, but I don't actually recommend then you need to delete the test install before you can go on and do your main install so we've got a database um, it's actually a database I'm using I'm going to restore it after I've deleted it uh, sorry we've got a, a WordPress installation so I'm going to delete that uh, existing WordPress installation and show you how to do it so to do it you log into one on one go to MySQL administration uh, gives you a list of databases and we're going to select the PHP MyAdmin function and obviously if you've got multiple database you need to select the correct database uh, this is what I'm going to use here this opens up a new tab and you can see here, here are all the WordPress tables uh, basic tables, it's a default install now I just click the database name here and we get another window here now I'm going to delete all of these uh, tables so to do that I just check all of them and the option here I'm going to choose drop so I'm going to drop all of the tables so I should finish up with an empty database when I'm finished so drop now that does that automatically now it gives you an option to confirm it and I'm going to confirm it and say yes and to drop the tables now make sure you are on the right database uh, before you do this so say yes and by the way you should also uh, in case of mistakes you should also make sure you have a backup in case you really need to go back to it and it says my SQL query is executed successfully here are the tables it's dropped and you can see here we've got an empty database over there so now we're ready to start um, a fresh install into that database if, if that's what we want okay uh, that's the end of this video. Until next time, bye.